Hi guys, welcome back to Pixel Science, and today I am going to be doing some riddles. Oh, by the way, this is part three. I'm back. When she walked in, though, she saw her roommate lying on the floor unconscious. Straight up. She said he was pouring milk in his coffee, take it on time. But she had forgotten to take her sheet music oh, with no. her, so she had to straight drive away. back. When she walked in, though, she saw her roommate lying on. Got straight away, straight away. This. She looks like a psycho. And what is this? I've never seen that in my life. Anyways. The floor unconscious. A nurse was standing beside her. She explained to Jessica that her roommate had been poisoned, but luckily she'd had enough I time to buy the nurse. call an ambulance before she passed out. Jessica immediately realized something was wrong. She thanked the nurse for helping her friend and asked her if she could get her a glass of water or anything else. The nurse agreed, and Jessica hurried to the kitchen. There, she called the police saying, There's a fake nurse in my house. She poisoned my roommate and tried to rob her. How did Jessica understand that? Easy peasy. There's like some jewelry right here. And she looks very suspicious. Like, very, very suspicious. Like, come on, you cannot say, you cannot say that is not suspicious. When she arrived at the house, there was no ambulance car in the driveway or in the street. And it's not like paramedics started using Uber. And you might have also noticed that the paramedic bag the nurse was holding was slightly open, and Jessica's roommate's jewelry was dangling out of it. Anna and Catherine are both influencers, but take a look at the latest photos they posted. Which of these ladies do you think is richer? Let me see. Eh. Ah. I think it's this one. She's like bathing in money. And like... Come on. I think it might be... Catherine is richer, of course. Just look at the number of likes on her photo. She has 27,907 likes. Anna, on the yeah. other hand, has... No yeah, but she's bathing in money! 9,800... like Elon Musk rich. She'd be bathing in money. 137, which means that Catherine has way more followers and must be earning millions. Annie managed to buy presents for everyone except her dad. She knew what everyone wanted, but her dad was kind of secretive and not the talking type. He was also not great with technology and never bought anything online, so there was no way she could sneak into her dad's computer and check the saved items in his shopping cart. But he always liked to make lists in his little notebook. And Annie was sure she might be able to find a wish list there. So she sneaked into her father's office one day to look for the notebook. It was nowhere to be found, but his study table had a locked drawer. Uh -oh. She looked for the key around the room but couldn't find it anywhere. That's when two different sticky notes attached to two different books inside the bookcase caught her eye. The first note was attached to a psychology book and had P5487TH written on it. The second note was attached to a detective novel and said P21320TH. Annie immediately knew what the notes meant. Can you guess what she had to do? She had to open to page 548 in the first book and find the seventh word on this page. Then, she had to open page 213 in the second book and find the 20th word on that page. The words she found were under and desk. The girl immediately looked under the desk and found the drawer key taped to it. James was walking back to his apartment from work late at night. Suddenly, he was hit on the head and taken away. When he woke up, he found himself in a small room. He tried to escape, but the door was locked with a padlock. Suddenly, he was hit on the head and taken away. When he woke up, he found himself in a small room. 
He tried to escape, Who but... Who locks someone with a leather... <laughs> Who locks someone with a leather, like, lock? Like... Who locks someone with a leather lock? The Come door on. was locked with a padlock. James tried to look for the key, but there... Doesn't even look like a padlock. Man. There was nothing in there but a window with strange-looking metal bars. Suddenly, he noticed something. It helped him to find the key. Do you see it too? There. East. East, east. East, no. I really don't know. I really have no idea. What? One of the metal bars is different from the others. That one is the key. The shore of molten gum, far away from the village of Talking Stones, there's a big house. This building is different from all others in this neighborhood, since it exists in two-dimensional space. The owner is a rich architect, Mr. Ali Lee Bulb, who has just woken up after a 90,000 second nap. He finds a broken diamond banana in the kitchen. Mr. Ali Lee Bulb gets angry and... A diamond a diamond banana! Who just keeps a diamond... A, a banana? May not have diamonds in their house. Who does that? <laughs> he calls everyone who was in the house while he was sleeping. He's going to find out who broke his amazing piece of jewelry. Big closed eye, cardboard giraffe with glasses, and three-headed pelican come into the living room. Tell me who broke the banana. Mr. Ali Lee Bulb says, I didn't do that, I was... What? How does the... Oh, fuck. It looks like an egg. Visiting rich old people in their dreams, Big closed eye tells him. I was watching the Liquid Laughter 3D movie in the living room all this time, the giraffe says. I have no idea who I am and what's going on here. I haven't touched your banana, said one of the pelican's heads. Mr. Ali Lee Bulb immediately realizes who's lied to him. And you? Pelican. It's the pelican because um, this guy didn't say anything about Banana, sorry. It's Cardboard Giraffe. He couldn't watch a 3D movie since the house only exists in two dimensions. It happened on a dark night on a purple planet. A fluffy snake crawled into the house where a purple guy was sleeping. A fluffy snake? A fluffy snake? It bit him, and the purple guy decided to go to a hospital. He told a doctor everything. She looked at the guy attentively and told him the snake hadn't been venomous. How did she know that? I don't know, maybe because he's not dying. <laughs> it was 3.45 a.m. on the clock in the guy's room. Now it's 11.45 p.m. on the clock in the examination room. The purple guy has spent almost a day trying to get to the hospital. So far, nothing bad has happened to him, which means the snake was not poisonous. The king of a tiny planet has no heirs. But then, who will become the ruler of this world? To choose the best candidate, the king gives every inhabitant one seed. Whoever grows the most beautiful flower will get the planet, the king tells them. Come back in two months. Two months later, everyone came back with beautiful flowers. Among hundreds of candidates, there was one girl with an empty pot, and her brother with the most beautiful flower. The king said they would rule the planet. Why them? No All the seeds were fake, and the girl didn't want to deceive the king by replacing the seed. Meanwhile, her brother put a lot of effort into growing the most beautiful plant to achieve his goal. Rain falls upward in this world, cars move backward, broken glass repairs itself, pens erase words from paper, chickens hide back in the egg at the end of their life. So you get it, time runs backward here. 
But something is wrong in this world. What is it? Try to look beyond the picture you've just seen before answering. Wait, 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 wait. One second. Pens erase words from paper. Chick, they would rule the planet. Why them? All the seeds were fake, and the girl didn't want to deceive the king by replacing the seed. Meanwhile, her brother put a lot of effort into growing the most beautiful plant to achieve his goal. Rain falls upward in this world, cars move backward, broken glass repairs itself. Pens erase words from paper. Chickens hide back in the egg at the end of their life. So you get it, time runs backward here. But something is wrong in this world. What is it? Try to look beyond the picture you've just seen before answering. The correct answer is, my voice, it's not reversed. Space monsters are chasing you inside an abandoned space station somewhere at the edge of a faraway galaxy. They're stretching their toothy tentacles towards you. Fortunately, you managed to jump into a rescue ship and get out of there. Suddenly, you realize that the ship has no brakes. There's an asteroid belt to your left. A small black hole is on the right, and a red star is in the middle. Which way should you choose? Red star. No, asteroid. None of these. Don't forget that you can also fly up or down. You're in outer space. It's raining diamonds every day on this planet. The rays of the closest star that warms this world contain gold particles. Banknotes grow on trees. Seas glow green because the water is filled with emeralds. Despite all this wealth, people don't want to live here. Why? Gold particles in the air can damage human lungs within seconds. Money trees don't produce oxygen, and there are no fish in the water because of the emeralds. People simply can't exist there. Michael is walking down a long road. He's sweaty, hungry, and thirsty. There are no cars around, and his phone isn't working. You should just go to the wealth planet. <laughs> Michael takes a few more steps and sits down on the road. He can't walk anymore. At this moment, he hears a vehicle approaching. A big bus appears on the road. It stops by Michael. A big bus just appears on the road. Just Doctor Strange magic. Just oh. ta-da! <laughs> its doors open, but Michael doesn't get inside. He notices a car and a motorbike approaching. They stop by him too. All the drivers offer to give Michael a ride. What should he choose? The bus seems normal, but one of its tires is flat. The trip won't last long. Look at the biker. His face is hidden by a helmet, but he has hooves instead of feet. Mike chooses the car. One video blogger has been walking across a desert for several hours. The guy has no water left, and he's losing strength, but his camera battery is fully charged. He climbs a small hill and sees three lakes, but not all of them are real. Help the blogger to identify illusions. Ah, these two are the illusions. Oh, I'm just gonna get He has a video camera. He should film the lakes. Mirages can't be recorded. A biker is traveling along a country road when he hears a scream. A woman is calling for help. She seems to be in the forest. The biker drives in her direction and sees three girls among trees. They're all begging to save them from a vampire. But which of you is the vampire? The man asks. It's her! The girl screams and points at one another. How can the biker find out who is human? Show me this. This one is a vampire because it's got those weird elf-like is 
and I was gonna say this one's another vampire. There are two side mirrors on the motorcycle. The biker needs to turn the handlebars to check which girl has a reflection. Martin likes visiting abandoned factories and other buildings. Today, he's going to check a huge deserted shopping mall located on a remote island. According to some legends, the Minotaur lives inside the building. The creature looks like a human with a bull's head. Of course, Martin doesn't believe that. He takes a flashlight, a warm blanket, and a night vision camera. It's dark and cold inside. Martin hears a strange noise coming from the corridor. He shines a flashlight and sees the Minotaur. The monster looks angry. It aims its horns at Martin. What should the guy do? Faster! The bull is about to attack! What does he have again? <gasps> Use the warm blanket! Ole! <laughs> okay. No. Ole! Remember that blanket that Martin took with him? Yes. The guy should throw it at the monster's muzzle to confuse the creature and escape. Michelle is in front of a locked door. An axe, a hammer, and a drill, and several other tools lie nearby. The girl tries to break down the door with the axe, but the door is metallic. Then, she tries to knock the door out with the hammer. And again, Question. again no Why are her eyes got rings around them? Has she not, like, slept in ages? No result. Don't try to force it open. There's an easier way, a creepy voice says. Michelle tries to open the door by turning the handle, but it doesn't work either. What else can she do? She can open the door with the actual handles. Or you could be um, bad cop and just Ooh. kick down the door. Michelle should knock on the door. Starry sky, fresh cool air, endless dunes, a small campfire, and a tent. This place is a fairy tale. Sarah has always wanted to spend a night in a desert. She takes pictures of the stars, drinks hot tea from a thermos, and enjoys life. It's a perfect night. Too perfect. Why are there two moons? A smile disappears from Sarah's face. Everything is not real. Two signs indicate that Sarah is sleeping right now. What are these signs? Two moons and the fire is weird. Wait, let's go back. And there's a crab. There's a crab. I think there's three things. There's a hermit crab which lives in the sea. And there's two moons. And the fire is made out of triangles. It's a perfect night. Too perfect. A smile disappears from Sarah's face. Everything is not real. Two signs indicate that Sarah is sleeping right now. What are these signs? The tri There's three signs. Triangular fire does not exist. Two moons are shining in the sky. A sea crab is looking at Sarah from the sand. But it's scorpions that usually live in deserts, not sea crabs. Mary opens her eyes and realizes yes. that she... Anyways, that is all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.